Hey, it's Sandy and Johnny checking in. It's been a long time since you guys have seen it. Hey. Hey. Um, we've decided today... Is, okay, today is... We didn't decide that it is. Today is day two of VedFam, which is video every day for a month. And um, I'm not feeling super good today, so I made a little list of what I'm going to talk about. And we'll just take it from there. It's probably not going to be too long. So yeah, it's, it's a lovely no makeup day. Bad lighting day because it's that time of the you know it's it's dark outside. Anyway, so John, you want to go first with your pet peeves? I, yeah. Okay, I wrote down six of mine. One of the four of them are about being in cars because I spend many hours a day in the car doing work, my work. One of them is drivers on their phones, and it's not just the people that hold it to their ear because that's totally against the law, but. It's supposed, if you talk in the car, you're supposed to be hands-free. It does not mean that it's okay, act like this is my phone, to drive around and talk like this. They, they think it's okay if you're not holding it to your ear to still drive around like this and talk. This is against the law too. And you're still totally distracted. Another thing that makes me crazy is people that don't use their turn signals. It's so easy to do. How dare you exactly? Um, the other one lately I've been noticing a lot is people that are running stop signs. They'll, it's not even a California stop anymore. They will t basically tap their brake and go straight through. And it doesn't matter if you've already stopped and, and you're getting ready to pull out. They've, there's been so many cutoffs lately that it's not funny. Another one that makes me crazy, crazy. is people that drive with their pets on their laps. You know, does Fido really need to sit on your lap and have his head hanging out the window? There was a dog today that was basically like the size of um, like a golden lamb sitting on this lady's lap, hanging out the window of the driver's side. Not in the least. <coughs> Why don't you do your two and then I'll do my last two. What are a couple of things that make you nuts? Um, when people ask, ask me how I'm doing, that's basically one of my major ones. I always hate answering the same thing over and over again. Because you always just say fine? You yeah. never really say the truth? And when people eat my food like, before oh, I get to eat it. Like when you've picked out something specific at the grocery store? Yeah. And then you go in the kitchen to get like your bag of earthquake chips or something and... They're gone. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay. We're not naming names on who it is though. No. Definitely not. But yeah. So when you've specifically asked for something and it's gone. Yep. That's it. Um, the other two things that make me, me nuts, I mean, I'm sure there's more than two things, but Very true. one of the things is when people say, use the word approximately, completely wrong. So if I were to say, this cost approximately $6.33, $6.33 is pretty accurate. You know, if you were going to say, if this was about $6.50, I'm okay with that. But to, to break it down, like, you know, when someone says, it was about 67 degrees that day. No, you'd say about 70. So if you're going to be exact, don't use about or approximately. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just say no. And the last one is, um, I wrote down reply. It bugs me when someone will um, ask a question. You know, they'll email me specifically or call me and specifically ask a question. And I'll either email them back or call them back or whatever and take my time and answer them thoroughly or do the research to answer them thoroughly. And then you don't get a reply back with someone saying thank you or just acknowledging. Even if you just replied R and A, which means read and acknowledged, that would be something. But you get tired of taking the time to type out a response or research something and call back with an answer. And then people just don't give a simple thank you. That's it. Makes you crazy? Mm-hmm. Furious. Furious. Do you have any shout-outs? Just shout-out to everybody? Oh, okay. Let's do that. Go for it. Shout-out to everybody. Okay. All right. All right. See you later. Bye. See you.